Yeah, we, we call this sort of sport specific training. And when you're rehabbing from a certain program, this is probably the yeah, 80% of the way there and you're nearly back to playing sport, but you just got to get these last little bits back. So this is talking about um, teaching you certain movements and controlling certain movements. So jumping is about absorbing and loading the legs and feeling that movement back into legs and making sure you're doing that properly as well. Because if you have a deficit in the way that you land or you don't have good control of a certain movement, it does predispose you to certain injuries. Um, the, 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 I guess the scary word that a lot of people don't like to hear is ACL. Um, if you've got quite poor mechanical control of your knees or your hips or a bit of weakness in there, that can cause you to get what we call knee valgus where the knee comes across and it makes you more prone to things like ACLs and that. Some people have it, there's no issues whatsoever, but training these things before you return to sport and training plyometric specific training, so that's jumping, landing, hopping, skipping, is really important as it prepares you to get back to those, those sport specific movements, which you, you would naturally do when you're in a game um, and you probably don't think about them. So if you can control those movements better, make yourself stronger in those sorts of movements and make yourself mechanically better in those movements, um, you're going to be less prone to injury and more likely to, to play better and, and you know, run better and be stronger over time.